Hi, I'm Larry. I carve artwork, logos, stuff like that into flagstone, granite, slate. And uh, I like to go to art shows and sell it, sell the stuff through online venues, etc. I've always been an artist, drawing, coloring, building things. You know, in junior high, high school, me and a buddy of mine, we'd waste notebooks drawing World War II cartoons and stuff like that. I got into doing tattoos. Uh, I got a couple of my own that I did. This was actually going to have mom and dad in it. This one's uh, been scarred up. Now I did both of these are over 20 some years old. Um, and I kind of got away from tattooing. About eight years ago, we were tearing up some tile for a remodel and it was having a big two by two squares of this real nice looking concrete and ceramic tile and I decided I'd keep it and I'd do something with it and I started doing artwork on it. There's um, an animal series. I've sold a couple pieces out of that. Wolf and the eagle. I have some whale and giraffe pieces coming up. I have the wine collection series that I'm working on. If it's a military symbol, lettering, or sports logo, those get stenciled, and those are the only thing I use stencil on. Everything else gets free-handed. Sometimes I see a picture or a design and say that'll look cool on granite or that'll look cool on slate or flagstone. Or I see a piece of stone and say, oh, I can do this on that stone. Certain bits will carve certain grooves in certain stones and other times it'll barely touch it. Granite squares, that's the hardest stone I use. Some of the flagstone is really soft. I'm trying to get into more deep relief carving where it's more detailed and deeper into the stones. Once I'm done carving and everything's all set, the stone has been rinsed and brushed off of excess dust, I go ahead and I paint it, you know, one, and it gets two to three coats of really good paint. And then once it's painted, it gets sealed with three, three coats or so of good exterior clear seal gloss and it goes in storage or stock until we have a show. Some pieces, like if it's a simple letter or number set, I can knock it out in an hour, hour and a half. If it's something stenciled, uh, same thing. Sometimes an hour, sometimes eight hours. If the carving goes right, if the drawing goes right, uh, if the painting goes right, and it also depends on what I'm doing, the size of the piece. Um, and, and Sometimes I might not like it, so I have to start over. Uh, I am an artist, nothing's ever finished for me, ever. My very first show was uh, in a side lot off of 4th Avenue near the 4th Avenue Winter Street Fair in Tucson. And uh, it was a big hit, and I just went from there, and I got bit by the show bug of, you know, displaying my art and showing it, and. Been through the ups and downs in the years, um, but I've enjoyed it and I wouldn't give it up. Always wear a smile. I, I mean, life's hard, uh, life's tragic, but there's good things. Uh, and as a budding artist, don't let nobody snuff out your flame. Don't let, night, don't let life snuff out your flame of creativity. Don't let critics cr snuff out your flame of creativity. And best of all, don't let yourself snuff out your creativity. <laughs>